It is almost Christmas time in the city, and for a lot of people, Christmas means eggnog. But can one replicate the eggnog experience without something so heavy? Just a few calories in that one. I have asked three different bartenders to make me alternative eggnogs. I've stopped here at Jimmy, a bar on top of the James Hotel. I'm actually avoiding cream and eggs. Banishing cream, I'm not surprised by that. Banishing egg. Mm -hmm. That's almost like a bastardization of the whole eggnog principle. No? It is. First, in an odd twist, we're doing the nutmeg right into the mixing glass. So you're just, I mean, you're just throwing all caution to the wind and just inverting the entire universe Absolutely. here. First ingredient is a Florida kind of seven year age rum. I just think it has that, just that classic rum roundness. Tawaka vanilla liquor, Italian vanilla liquor. It's an all liquor cocktail. Wow. So, so am um, I going to be able to walk away from this video? Or am I going to be in a wheelbarrow? And then we do just bar spoons of uh, Grand Marnier, bar spoon of Velvet Thornum that also just brings in some of that bay, cinnamon, nutmeg. And then this is uh, pine liquor. It's, it's a Christmas tree effect in this cocktail. And then some orange bitters, three to four dashes of orange bitters. And then uh, lightly sweetened oh, cinnamon ice cream. Oh, that's Sorry. a classy touch. This is the kind of thing that really impresses the guests, you know? It's a good looking drink, I'll give you that much. Ooh, kind of hits all the notes. I kind of feel in the back. All the notes except the creaminess, mm -hmm. which you've made an executive decision, a bold decision, mm -hmm. the decision of a renegade. Thank you very much. Eggnog. Do you know where the name comes from? I don't. If I were to tell you it's because it's an egg that scrambles your noggin, would you believe me? Yes. You'd be gullible. All right. <laughs> I started with a Jamaican rum that okay. wanted it to have some, some body to it. A half an ounce of the black strap rum. It's got a nice molasses sort of base to it. I'm going to follow that up with our house falernum. And again, we make that here in Sort of like the liquid potpourri of, of tiki cocktails, right. right? A quarter ounce of demerara syrup. Now this is a raw sugar syrup. This is our house toasted coconut milk. This yeah. is no watered down canned no. crap from the supermarket. Absolutely not. Now we're gonna add our egg whites. We want that froth. The dash of Fee's aromatic bitters, a little bit of spice. So you basically burned all the calories you could possibly consume with this drink right there. I'm okay. gonna just strain that I, in there. I like, I like a nice martini style glass. <laughs> That's really good. It does summon eggnog memories, and it doesn't have that kind of really, really overbearing body that eggnog has. Tell me about the eggnog you're gonna make. What does it have in it? You have six egg yolks in there. Yep. What else? Uh, some, some sugars, some spices, like the blade mace, and, and as everything well nice. as- And uh, everything nice. I yeah. couldn't resist, I'm sorry. You only need about two ounces of this rich batter. So we have a lot of extra there. We have a lot. We so can like do facials yeah, with it this, afterwards or something. You could, yeah. Okay. I chose to use uh, a Geneva gin made by Bowles. Right. Uh, very robust citrus. So we are having this eggnog in the metaphorical Holland. Yes, yes. The American uh, bonded Applejack apple brandy. But what I've chosen to do is add some um, mulled cider. So I'm just going to heat this up. So about a... This really is an eggnog. It's essentially a multivitamin. Combine all this nice and slowly. Just frothy goodness galore, huh? Yes. Ooh, wow. I feel like I'm eating some liquid mashup of a pumpkin and an apple pie. Yeah? I think this is an eggnog that Santa himself would approve of. I hope so. Do I've been a good girl. <laughs>